I don't know anything about slippery eels, but I do know that if you're looking for wet weather over the week ahead, you need to be in Scotland and Northern Ireland, particularly across western areas. For England and Wales, there's precious little rain on the horizon, but for all of us, the winds are going to be picking up, and because of that, it will feel colder. The wind's quite a feature of our weather over the week ahead. Light to begin with, already picking up in the northwest by Tuesday, and then we'll all see those strengthening winds from the east or southeast, and by the end of the week across northern Scotland, those winds could be touching gale force and it will feel cooler. Now influencing our weather over the week ahead is this area of high pressure towards Scandinavia. A long way away but it's a blocking high. It's blocking off these weather fronts from the west. They bump into the high pressure and then they retreat back again. It's not really until right at the end of the week we start to see some progression as this weather front moves in from off the Atlantic and brings some rain towards the east. Now today there's very little rain around at all. It's a lovely story really across many parts of the country. We've seen some thicker cloud edging towards the west and it still could give a little bit of drizzle across the western side of Scotland. We may even see one or two showers for East Anglia but elsewhere it's a dry bright story, some pleasant spells of sunshine, it'll feel quite warm as well. Temperatures of 14 to 18 degrees with the wind easing down across East Anglia. Now overnight some changes, I think we'll keep some cloud across Northern Ireland, across central and western Scotland, a little bit of drizzle as well but elsewhere with light winds, clearing skies, it's going to be a cold night, the coldest of the week ahead and much colder than last night. A ground frost from the borders of Scotland in towards some rural parts of England and Wales as well. So a chilly start to the week ahead. We'll see the cloud building up through the day, I think, during Monday. May again bring us one or two showers towards those North Sea coasts, but the thicker cloud again across Northern Ireland, across Scotland, most of that rain and drizzle though tending to peter out as the day goes on, a temperatures of 15 to 17 degrees. It turns cooler though through the rest of the week. We've still got some showers, maybe a few more pushing into some eastern areas during Tuesday. But again, the thicker cloud across Northern Ireland, across Western Scotland. Here, it's likely to turn wetter as the day goes on and the wind starts to pick up as well. We start to see these weather fronts pushing in from off the west, but they don't make an awful lot of progress. As we move into Wednesday, they get squeezed out of the way and move their way in towards the Atlantic. So the rain gets taken away and it starts to dry up once again. Probably a lot of cloud for many of us. And across the eastern side of Scotland, there'll still be a few showers. Not particularly heavy, perhaps. Elsewhere, though, dry. The best of the sunshine towards the south where we're drawing in some drier continental air and we should see the cloud breaking up quite nicely but notice the winds are already picking up and it stays windy on Thursday. Similar sort of day, a lot of dry weather around, a little bit of sunshine here and there and still a few nuisance showers left across the northeast of Scotland. Then by Friday we start to see the next weather system packing its way in from the west. The wind's really starting to pick up. To the east though it remains bright and breezy. So a few changes on the way. Western areas seeing some rain, the wind's picking up